Yeah, that's pretty thick. Nice. Hey there, Internet Keeve here, and welcome to the Cars We Keep YouTube channel. We're back to reviewing pressure washers. I'm starting my research for the cheap wash cart bill. We're gonna need to be in the 81 to $100 range for a pressure washer. This is the Giraffe Tool 1600 PSI 1.7 GPM unit. In the unit, you have a gun, pretty decent gun here. You have a 14 millimeter M22 right there. The end, it is one of those, you know, Click on turn deals. It does have a quarter inch width this neck at the end. You have 20 foot of slinky hose, I like to call it, because this stuff always stays coiled up. It does have a proprietary fitting that goes into the unit. Now you got a 35 foot hose, which is nice, with your GFCI. And the unit itself is pretty small, right? It's got a nice little handle right here. You got a spot for your gun right here and some click on stuff. Looks like stuff for your nozzles as well. It has your garden hose fitting on the back here with its adapter. So you have a white and an orange nozzle. The white's 40 degree and the orange is 15 degree. They're both stamped as a 2.5 orifice, so they'll both push out the same pressure and the same GPM. Will it make those numbers? We'll find out. We have all the nozzles to test to make sure that we can get all that. But for me, we're mainly looking to see how well this does washing cars. All I care is that we can do 1,000, 900, 1050, or something like that and get the GPM that we need. Hopefully 1.5 would be awesome. Okay, so I think I have everything that I need here. For this connection, it's proprietary. Clicks right in, there we go. Now, since it's proprietary, you're wondering how am I gonna be able to use it for an upgraded wash kit? Well, the end of the hose is an M22. For the gun, we have an adapter that we got off of Amazon that goes in if you push all the way in and turn it, we can now turn this into a short nose. I've got a quick disconnect on the back. We hook that up. We have our shutoff valve, five, six dollar shutoff valve. Amazing, I talk about it in every video. Let's plug the slinky hose into the unit. Let's turn our water on, see if we get any leaks. There we go. I have my quarter inch uh, pressure gauge right here. So that we can check it out. We have a 3.0 here and a 1.0 just so we can judge everything. We got water flow. Let's turn the switch. Got pressure. Well, it's already one thing I'm kind of disappointed in. You hear it? I hate that sound. But if it works well, I can deal with it. 950. So basically out of the box, you're already at the minimum of what you need for car washing. 950 is pretty much exactly what you would want. But we're only pushing 10.6 amps at that 950. Here's a 3.0 that I would normally use on most. About 750 PSI. This is the 1.0 nozzle. This is the most PSI we're gonna be able to get for the nozzles that I have. We are getting 1550, maybe a little more than 1550, but we pushed 13.1, 13.2 amps. To get that, it's possible, but you're going above the rating of the motor that they say at 1400 watts. Obviously the stock nozzle was getting 1000 PSI, 950 PSI, it's about what we want for car washing. So let's see what kind of GPM we get out of that. We're just gonna fill the bucket up at one minute on the clock, and then we're just gonna measure how much is in there. We are about 1.25 uh, gallons per minute at that 1,000 PSI. It was steady about 975 to 1,000. All right, so 3.0 nozzle, one minute on the clock. We were at 750 PSI to 800 PSI that whole time. A little bit too low for an initial rinse. Final rinse, yeah, sure, probably enough. Let's see what kind of gallons per minute we got. With a 3.0 nozzle, we were able to get a little bit more. We're between 1.25 and 1.5, so like what, 135, maybe closer to 1.4 is like a little more than halfway. Oh my gosh, I hate these hoses. We have an MJJC foam cannon. This is the version two, and this is uh, G wash with my normal dilution ratio, about a, a hundred or so milliliters with the rest filled up with water. Wow. 
So I guess we answered that question. Can you have fun with this? Absolutely. With the 1.1, you get serious foam. The MJGC is awesome as well. Check that out. Should be a link in the description below. Nothing foams like this bad boy right here. But the unit actually works pretty good. Let's get you a closer look. So pretty sick. There's the adapter, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description below for that. Let's see how it rinses up close. So out of the box, foams really well. Decent numbers. I was hoping for a little bit more, but what are you gonna ask for in a $99 range? This is $129.99, but it was on sale for $99.99. That's the reason I picked it up. $129 is probably a little bit too much for these kind of numbers. I'm not gonna hook it up to my uh, cart setup because I got the numbers that I needed. I'm not gonna get anything better. It's just gonna be easier to do. That's why you upgrade a hose, it's easier. This thing's curling up all over the place. I have to hold it like this. Uh, the gun is a little bit too long. I don't like the water hose going right in the middle i'd rather come in the bottom so i have more control we got it about a foot and a half two foot from the front of the car is about as close as i want to get it let's see if we have enough to get to the rear of the car eh. not really long enough uh, if the hose was coming in the bottom and you had a shorter spray nozzle you'd be okay but with as long as it is you have to get further away from the car the hose reaches the middle of the back of the car but this makes you go out further. You don't want it this far away from your car. You have to get further away. So by then, you don't have enough room. You're gonna be getting dangerously close to your front lip with the unit. One pull of the hose can scratch the car. I just can't get over that sound. Now, is it worth $99.99? Yeah, yes and no, but would I recommend it over a Ryobi or a Greenworks that are the exact same $100 range? Probably not. Same comparable numbers, and they don't have a proprietary connection here at the unit that you can upgrade. You'd have to go through the whole hose and then upgrade at the end of the hose to run to a real or run to a newer hose. You're not going to be able to put a new hose directly on here. But as far as this goes, the search continues for the cheap wash cart budget build. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. This is a 15 degree. That's gonna be a video. Wow, those kids are having some fun. There's a birthday party down there. I mean, what am I gonna do? Now there is gonna... Let's turn our water on, see if we got... So let's see how what we can do. Not really enough. Uh, it's enough to get back there, but with this being as long as it is.